The Israeli military released video on Tuesday in which it claimed to show Israeli soldiers conducting operations in southern Lebanon. The military said its troops found a weapons depot, including ammunition, firearms, explosives, and an observation post in the courtyard of a school in a village. In a press release, they said that, during searches in the area, the troops located and dismantled an underground terrorist infrastructure, dozens of meters long where hundreds of weapons, ammunition, cannons, RPGs, and more, were located and confiscated. A U.S. envoy has arrived in Beirut to meet with Lebanese officials about a possible ceasefire in the Israel-Hezbollah war. Amos Hochstein, a senior advisor to United States President Joe Biden, arrived Tuesday, a day after Hezbollah reportedly gave a positive response to a U.S. draft proposal to end the war, which has been ongoing for more than 13 months. The U.S. has been working on a proposal to end hostilities that would remove Israeli ground forces from Lebanon and push Hezbollah forces away from the Israeli border. More Lebanese troops and UN peacekeepers would be sent to the buffer zone in southern Lebanon as part of the deal. Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel the day after the October 7 Hamas attack in what it said was solidarity with the Palestinians and Hamas, a fellow Iran-backed militant group. Israel launched retaliatory airstrikes, an all-out war erupted in September. Before Russia's invasion, one square was an ordinary green lawn in the heart of Ukraine's capital of Kiev. Tourists would visit to take photos, and locals would stroll there on weekends. But 1,000 days of war have transformed it into a makeshift memorial, dotted with blue and yellow flags each honoring a soldier who died fighting Russia. Many were volunteers who left their civilian lives behind to answer the call to defend their country. Their loved ones, left alone with grief, hope their sacrifices won't be forgotten. They plant small, simple flags, hand-marked with the names and dates they died. Over time, the flags have multiplied, fluttering in the wind as the seasons change and the war drags on. I put it so that someone might pass by and see that this person once lived and gave their life for us," said Svetlana Kurichenko who traveled from Cherkasy to replace the weathered flag she had planted over a year ago in honor of her son, who died fighting. She carefully placed a new one in its place. So we can live peacefully among our own people, and not have Russians dictate how we should live and what to do. Photos from that time show dozens of flags neatly arranged in rows across the grassy field. As the war continued, the place has transformed. The grass has faded away, replaced by well-worn paths resembling those in a cemetery, winding through thousands of flags. Among them, many portraits have appeared, brought by relatives, showing confident, smiling faces in military uniforms. The place is strewn with fresh and dried flowers, a concentration of grief and an epicenter of Ukrainian history. Independence Square, after all, has long been the heart of Ukraine's revolutions. For many, it is the only fitting place for their loved ones to be remembered. City authorities have no control over this memorial. It was created by people themselves, driven by a deep need to honor their fallen in the absence of an official government memorial. Soldiers and families come here to sit for long stretches, gazing quietly into the distance. Nearby, funeral ceremonies take place almost every day, followed by moments of silence. Passers-by stop, kneel and observe in quiet reverence. But soon, life in the capital moves on, returning to its usual pace. The memorial keeps growing with each passing day, a reminder of the price Ukraine pays for its freedom.
Так хочеться фотографію поставити. Як же її? Это мой сыночек, Колпаковский Николай, 28 лет, 26 декабря 23 -го года, Он погиб в Старомайорске, мы родом из Запорожья. Нам его не хватает, это ужас. Какой парень был хороший, не женат еще был. Ничего после себя не оставил, никого. Пусть будь проклята эта война, ненавижу ее. Для того, щоб хтось хоч пройшов і подивився, що ця людина жила колись і віддала своє життя за всіх нас, щоб ми, ну, розумієте, могли спокійно розмовляти українською мовою, щоб ми були серед своїх, а не вибачте, щоб кацапська морда ходила отут і указувала, що мені робити, як мені жити. На Майдане! Вони захищали вас і ваші родини. Вони захищали нашу Україну. Вони віддали своє життя за нас з вами. Дякую. 